Alright, so, let's see here. We got some really cool credits here. You basically can see silhouettes of everybody, and... Alright, I guess now it's time to make fun of Japanese names, though. Before we do that, though, it's true. Every one of Mario's female party members fell in love with him on this run. It was Gumbella right there with that line. I like how the O's are just going nuts. Um, let's see, we had... Uh, there's a location of a shine sprite spoiled for you right there. Uh, Flurry, of course. Flurry was flirting with him, like, every two seconds. Uh, let's see. Um, Vivian right there, where she was about to say she loved Mario at the end, but cut herself off. And then, of course, Ms. Mouse was flirting with him even before she joined the party. So, yeah. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Hiroyuki Hayashi. Okay, that's very alliterated. Alliterary. Um, one main character designer? You mean one person designed every main character in this game? Crazy. One character designer at all? Jeez. These Japanese work themselves to death. Okay, okay, it wasn't just one character designer, never mind. Because there's more right there. Alright. One map designer. Oh, watch, there's gonna be like five more after this. Yep, there's gonna be more. But still, that's damn impressive that they have like as few map designers as they do and all that. Alright, we're on three. Oh, there's Vivian crying like she usually does. Like, cry, baby. Get used to child abuse. <laughs> oh, that was a very bad taste line. 2D design, of course. 2D design, 3D design. Hopefully there's no data design in there. <laughs> I swear to God, Nintendo, if anyone from Nintendo is listening to this right now, I don't care what you do with any of their third parties. Get rid of data design! They have never made a single good game. They are like the LJN of this generation. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I have to, I really do have to say, honestly, I I really was a bit apprehensive about doing this game at first, because I thought it was going to be too long. Like, I thought this was going to be like an excess of 120 videos. And while I admit all my series do run much too long, still, I'm glad I wrapped this up in about 80. Because I didn't think I honestly could wrap it up in an average of 10 videos per chapter. I don't know. I, well... Actually, I, I shouldn't say that, though, because there was, like, you know, the chapter interludes, and there was, like, the prologue and all that, so... I have to admit, though, I definitely did wrap up the last few chapters really short, though, because those were, like, five, six videos each. It was only chapter... Chapter three was the only one that was really long, though, if I remember. But yeah, anyway, seriously, if you, uh, like this LP, seriously, consider getting the game. I mean, GameStop's selling it for, like, 15 bucks now. It's definitely good, and it's actually, a uh, it's kind of, uh, I didn't have to bring this up at all, though, but, um, these last few videos have been shot with a new, um, DVD recorder slash capture card, so I guess you guys might be getting some better quality. I don't know how it's going to look in the end. I really hope this recording makes it to the final cut. I really, really hope I don't have to do this again because it failed to record. Koji Kondo! Koji Kondo! Seriously, that is one Japanese name I will never make fun of. Well, maybe I'd like to live in a Koji Kondo. Ugh. Charles Martinet, come on. God, KG, if you're watching this right now, I am so freaking jealous that you actually got to meet Charles Martinet and you got to do your Mario voice for him. I hate you. Um, come on, we haven't had any like funny names that I could actually... Uh, at least when I was paying attention to the names, we haven't had any funny ones. Jeff Miller and Leslie Swan, yes, they're always behind the whole advertising thing. They actually put their own names in an Animal Crossing commercial once. Don't think I didn't notice that. Because the character names were uh, Jeff, Kelly, Rob, and Leslie, and those were the four people who were behind those commercials. Little known fact. Special thanks, of course, the people that did absolutely nothing to contribute. They just were the people that slept with people and got their names in the credits for no reason. Supervisor with the characters. Why would you need a supervisor for characters? I mean, what? Like, it's like, oh, is Princess Peach, like, you know, like, too far from Shigeru Miyamoto's original intentions? I think that Pokey should get moving a little fast. Nah, no, okay, I won't say it. Super Mario Club, I would love to... No, okay, I wouldn't say I'd love to join it, though, because debugging is not fun. Debugging actually is not fun. I still find it's weird, like, how they always have, like, all those... Uh, there's open 8,000 here to work. It seems like it was only yesterday. It was only last week, actually. Love that underground city here. That underground city is one of my favorite places in the game. I don't, I don't know what any... I don't care what anyone says there. There's Grotus. Hey, two Kenjis. I bet they got them confused a lot if they were in the same department. Shigeru Miyamoto! There's Mario and Peach to end it off. It's Teruwada. But yeah, honestly, this has been a fun game. 
I just like to thank Nintendo for making this game, thank Intelligent Systems, and thank you for watching. All right. I will see you guys in Kanto. Wait, we are not done just yet. <laughs> you guys thought it was over. Actually, no, you probably looked down at the bottom of the video and saw there was like eight minutes of footage left, so you're like, oh, nope, sorry, not over yet. Ah, uh, yes, we must return to Roadport. If I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return to... <laughs> what is it with this game and bestiality? Ugh. Well, anyway, afterwards, you can actually save the game and you can continue playing has an infinite play mode, you can keep on playing uh, after the final boss. B boss? I was like, boss. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, you can continue playing, you can save after the final boss, you can do all that. Don't even bother going back to the end of the Palace of Shadow, there is nothing there for you anyway. We're just gonna go ahead and go around, uh, you know, just the various towns of the game and just show a few things, a few new things that you can do uh, now that the game is over. First and foremost, we got Professor Frankly right here. Let's find out what that treasure was. You seem pretty cheery. As always, I'm happily busy with my research. Yeah, what is the treasure? By the way, do you know what was in that treasure chest we found at the palace? It contained... A Droid Shroom! Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now we know for certain that people indeed ate mushrooms a thousand years ago. whoop de doo This is a groundbreaking anthropological discovery. It might have been a, an Ultra Shroom at one point in time, though, but it got so old that it shriveled up into a Dried Shroom. Nobody really knows. But anyway, down the warp pipe we go. I'm going to show you a lot of cool new stuff.